Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, I want to talk about heart failure. Now, heart failure is simply when the heart no longer works as a pump. I've drawn up the left-hand side of the heart here and the right-hand side of the heart here and all the blood vessels and circulation of the body. All right, now, let's start with left side heart failure. What can cause this? Well, the blood vessel that leaves the left-hand side of the heart, which is the aorta, if something blocks that or makes it more difficult for blood to exit the left-hand side of the heart, like an aortic stenosis, narrowing of that blood vessel, blood's going to back up, 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 up into the left ventricle. Now, to overcome this resistive force, the left-hand side of the heart thickens. This is called cardiac hypertrophy. And because it's muscle, it thickens, and so it can contract harder. But ultimately, that left-hand side fails, and blood continues to back up, 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 up into the pulmonary circulation, the circulation at the lungs. This is called pulmonary hypertension when the pressure gets too high and can lead to fluid leaking out, and this is pulmonary edema. Now, that blood continues to back up into the right-hand side of the heart, and to overcome the resistive pressures, the right-hand side of the heart thickens to overcome the force, but it ultimately fails. And the blood continues to back up, 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 up into the venous circulation. So you get this venous pressure increasing and at the capillaries of the body, the pressure is so high that the fluid leaks out here and this causes systemic edema. So left hand heart failure can result in right side heart failure. Left side heart failure can result in pulmonary hypertension and pulmonary edema. And right side heart failure can lead to systemic venous hypertension and systemic edema.